me YouTubers, this is Lady Grave Dancer and I'm here to do a um, herbal video on clove. Um, I'm not sure if I have anything new to share but I noticed a lot of people were doing clove videos and I've already shot this video once and it got deleted when my son graduated and I had to use the camera memory for his graduation. So anyways, we're going to get it done today. I'm going to show you the, the three different forms that I have clove in. I have it in the powder. Sorry, I like this song. Um, clove powder. And then just the clove like you get in the store that you have stuck in the um, ham. I can smell it right through this jar. And then I have clove oil which is very potent. It's essential oil. It's a killer. <laughs> it's a killer. Whew. Okay. So, I'm going to go over a couple of um, things that I know about it, and then I'm going to read you something out of um, one of my books real quick. It's not so, clove is masculine, and the element is fire. And I think... You know, I'm not big on astrology, but I think the planets is Jupiter and Uranus, I think, but you might want to look that up to make sure that's right. Um, some of the things that you'll find online if you Google magical properties of clothes are uh, exorcism, love, money, and protection, which can pretty much be a um, big majority of the herbs that are out there. Now, first thing I'm going to do is go over the um, magical properties and then the medical properties of the herb. Um, you can use it as a, um, like a friendship charm or ambulant. You can add seven cloves of, um, seven cloves. <laughs> That's what you're adding, seven cloves to, um, I get distracted because I really like this song. So you can add seven cloves to like a little, um, cloth bag. Or if you want just to get a cloth and tie it, put seven cloves in it, and tie it on a string of yarn, one that would represent friendship. To me, I like yellow or white would work, but you know, whatever represents your friendship. And you and your friend both wear those for up until the yarn breaks. And once the yarn breaks, you can take both of those and then burn them and your friendship is set for life. Now, I also do the same thing to get a man. The only difference is, is that you will be wearing it and you will wear it on a red string. Now, um, if purple represents more love for you, then you would go with that. But for me, red does it. So whatever color yarn you want to use, you would use that. You know, always make anything magical, make it your own. You're very welcome to go by the book or by what people say. Of course, I mean, it's your prerogative, but try to make it your own. I think it makes the spells and stuff more potent when you make it your own because there's more of your own intent into it. Just my opinion. Um, okay, so I got the clove oil here. Clove is very, very much used in like um, hoodoo as well as witchcraft is for bringing money spells. You can get the oil. Um, I wouldn't recommend using your essential oil, but maybe a couple of drops of it and some say olive oil that has been set with cloves for a couple of weeks and make your clove oil, however you make your clove oil. And you would want to rub that on a green candle and then uh, roll it into some clove powder. Now if you don't have clove powder, you can put this in a coffee grinder and then you'll have clove powder. And then you can burn that um, to bring you money. You can also... Um, burn some whole, clo whole clothes like this on a cold disc as, as you're doing a money ritual. Also, you can get these clothes and stick them into the green candle, all down the green candle, just push it into the wax and burn it like that. Very, very potent for um, money spells. And this is a little something that, um, that I like. If you can string some of these whole clothes here onto a string, and maybe hang them on your baby carrier or in the diaper bag. You know, it will help prevent um, evil eye on your kids and help keep them protected from bad spirits and things like that. But you can also carry it on yourself to do the same thing. You just kind of make a necklace out of um, the clothes. It's very good. Uh, you can even actually put some underneath the liner of your car seat to help protect the baby from 
you know, car accidents, um, you know, just anything. It's very, very strong. Clove is a very strong herb for, you know, a few different things, and it's very potent. Now, this, I don't suggest using the essential oil for this, but, you know, to each its own, because, you know, the essential oil, which we're going to get to that later with the medical things, um, we'll get to that later, but I would make your own clove oil, and there's a few videos on how to make clove oil um, here on YouTube already. I know my friend, um, Prepper Chicky, she has a video. I might put some links in the down bar on how to make your own clove oil and I'll find some and I'll put them down there because I've not done that on video. But as soon as you make your clove oil, if you're having trouble with your divination or you're trying to enhance to be able to um, maybe see more spiritual activity, um, be more potent in your divination, you know, just kind of enhance your psychic abilities and all that. You can use your clove oil that you make and rub it on your temples or on your forehead here or even behind your ears and some people will even rub it right here. So um, that's something that you can use the clove oil for as well. Um, another thing that I like to use clove oil for too is um, to I'll, I'll rub clove oil on the um, lining of the doors and that will help keep gossip from your family. It will also help keep your money inside. So you don't lose so much money and it'll also um, help keep protection up for your kids and stuff like that. Like on the window sills, just rub it, you know, do your own thing mentally. You know, that's just something that, that we've done. Oh, I want to backtrack to, um, I should have wrote this stuff down. If you drink clove tea, that will also help with your psychic abilities. Um, also, if you make an incense with clove um, powder and burn that. That'll also help with your psychic abilities. Um, we've done ritual before and we had a fire going and I went out there and I throw them some clothes onto the fire just to help with the ritual. And it, it really does work. It's really So I'm gonna pick up my little book here, which is very awesome. I love this book. And in here it says on clove, it says burn clove powder as an incense to attract good luck to your home. Chewing on a piece of clove while thinking of a lover is said to make them do your ever bidding. I don't suggest that. Don't control your lover. <laughs> this is my advice. You know, make it real. Let's see, um, red clove on a green candle um, will burn and attract wealth. I think we already covered that, didn't we? To stop gossip and remove negative vibration, burn clove and incense while burning a red candle. That's one thing that we didn't cover stop gossip if you are having um, bullshitters talk about you um, which I'm sure we've all experienced this in one form or another you can burn um, just pretty much how you did the um, the money you know with the green candle you would use a red or black candle um, and you would burn that in the intention to make them shut up um, it's also good to carve their name into the candle and then roll it in the oil and then roll it in the clove powder make them shut the hell up you know what I mean so it's, it is really good for that as well so yeah I, I agree with that what the book is saying on there so now we're gonna go to the um, medical properties that I know about clove I know the number one thing that everybody knows about clove um, is that it helps you with toothaches toothaches it's antiseptic it's anti-inflammatory has more more properties which you can google it and, and you'll be able to find it or whatever but it, it does many things, and it, it has a lot of different um, vitamins in it. it. It covers a lot of things, but we're just going to cover about the teeth because that's the only thing that I know about. Um, you can get the clove oil. Put a little bit on your finger, and if your tooth is hurting, I'm pointing over here because this is where I've had issues before, <laughs> just a few weeks ago, and rub it on the gum line, and it will numb that and help take down if there's any swelling. And, you know, it also... it cleanses it it's an antiseptic so it, you know it gets it going also another friend if you have like a cavity um, said to put a clove into the cavity and kind of set it there I don't know about that I can't tell you I'm just telling you that's what they had told me when my tooth was hurting so I mean I would imagine that it does work I've not used it that way so I just wanted to throw that in so very good if you have teeth aches like I do I, I have horrible teeth so, you know, very good for that stuff. This is better than um, Ambisol and Orangel, all that really, really good stuff. This, like, this should be in your medicine cabinet, not just in your essential oil collection. Someone 
walking up. I got a camera I'm looking outside. I'm at the office. Um, okay, another thing that I had just found out that I didn't know, just reading and stuff, trying to catch up on everything, is that um, cloves start off as a very pale color and then they go into a green color and then when they're ready to harvest is when they get to this color which I think is pretty cool because I would have never had thought they were green pale I can understand because then as you're ripening you change this color but they um, at one point mid stages are green um, cloves are also um, good for indigestion problems and constipation if you make a uh, decoction a herbal tea out of um, clove whenever you're having issues with constipation or um, indigestion that will help with that so you know that's better than going and getting some medicine over the counter because everybody has clothes it seems like everybody has clothes like a lot of people are like I have clothes I don't know what I'm using for but I have clothes well look now you know many uses teeth aches indigestion problems constipation um, oh another good one this oil now when you put this oil on your skin it it, it kind of inflames the skin because it starts to um, get the blood cells flowing it, it kind of expands everything I don't know if I'm making sense so this oil is very good to use on um, arthritis aches and pains like that I would suggest not actually using the Full undiluted essential oil just because it does inflame the skin but maybe make your own clove oil and add a few drops of the essential oil to it and then use it as um, you would Bengay or anything for your arthritis that's just my opinion because this it you know even when I put it on my gums it does have a tingle effect and I would imagine if you had dry skin around your arthritis it does inflame the skin that it might burn you can also put um, some of these cloves like in a stocking or something and put it in a hot bath and let the water get all the um, nutrients out of the clove for if you got like athletes in your family your kids or whatever your husband plays soccer or football and they get achy a good clove bath will help with those aches and pains like really good you can also put a few drops of essential oil in the water it's you know it's not going to hurt anything because it's going to be diluted into the water because clove has such a high amount of um, potassium it's also good for people with high blood pressure but um, also too much clove can also be bad for you so you definitely want to look into that before you start ingesting it but if you have high blood pressure a clove tea every now and then would definitely help with that because of the potassium that it contains and not to mention it's a very good um, aromatherapy smells good and um, put it in an scent it just it smells amazing I love to burn it uh, burning it smells much better than smelling it out of these bottles and jars and that aromatherapy is really calming for me so this is what I can think of I should have wrote it all down but this is all I can think about with um, clove there's many uses um, you can see the stuff that I use more in the videos because I'll have it in many different forms uh, versus the ones I don't use as often I may only have like one type of it or something but clove is very good <clears throat> and I'm sure there's other stuff that I'm just not thinking about on top of my head but I wanted to do this video again because I promised it for a minute and um, yeah that's all I got right now um, it's about lunchtime my phone is texting and I see someone just drove up in the front so I am going to end this video and I will see you at the next one. If you have any questions or requests on herbs, what, what do you want the next herb video to be on? Um, leave the comments in the down bar. Down bar. Down there. Leave the messages down there and I will get back to you. Um, or private message me. Alright guys. Thanks for watching and I will see you at the next video. And as always, blessed be.